Okay, so welcome to the platform, uh, Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, this is Bruce from Bookmap, and the risk disclaimer here, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss, is not suitable for all investors, past performance is not indicative of future results. More information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, you can do a trial, become a member, and you have access to a lot of the free resources. Uh, I was mentioning the... Uh, a live webinar, uh, that is one of them, uh, as well as the uh, educational course and package, okay? So uh, you'll uh, you'll get the software, uh, as well as uh, some education to understand how to use the tool. Any questions, reach us at support at bookmap.com. Uh, here is bookmap.com, and uh, let's click on explore. Uh, there's some intro videos right here. Uh, they're just uh, they're very short, but uh, gives you uh, a good overview of what Bookmap's about. Let's go down to connectivity. Uh, you will need um, a data feed uh, or data uh, provider that uh, that we support uh, for Bookmap. Bookmap uh, is not a data provider. Okay, we're just a software um, platform. So uh, these are the uh, ways of connecting uh, here. Uh, a little bit further down is the pricing. And this is where you can sign up for the free trial. Uh, there's two versions of Bookmap, the Bookmap Basic and the Bookmap Advanced, uh, 49 per month, 99 per month, and both are available for that 14-day trial period. Uh, if you're going to do the uh, trial, I would recommend going with the Advanced, and then you get the, the difference here is then you, you get the ability to trade from the chart as well as all of these uh, add-on configurations here. Okay, these are indicators uh, that are specific to order flow and, and book map, okay? Our proprietary uh, indicators. Um, and then if you if you uh, wanna go back to the basic after the trial, you, you can do that, okay? So uh, you, at least you'll uh, experience the advanced, uh, which is nice. Okay, now the other two here, they're basic and advanced as well. They're just uh, with a DX, the DX feed. The DX feed is for US equities only. Okay, so um, uh, it is not for futures data. Uh, it is a, a special that we have right now uh, with DX feed and Dev Experts. Uh, it connects to uh, NASDAQ Total View and NASDAQ Last Sale. All right, so uh, it's an excellent feed. Uh, ask me some questions about it. I'll show you some, some equities if you like. And um, uh, it has complete depth of, of market. It's really, it's really nice. Um, so anyway, uh, you get a 14-day trial period with those as well. All right, so uh, you can also follow us here on Twitter and get up-to-date information. Uh, and then uh, you can also uh, subscribe to our YouTube page here. Uh, I would recommend, if you're new here, uh, to go through the features and components first. So just get an understanding of what some of the what uh, some of the features are in Bookmap. Uh, and um, watch maybe just a few of these order flow video snippets, uh, get an understanding of what book map is displaying, uh, and then how to start using it. Okay, And then uh, there's some selected webinars that we have here. All right, and then uh, Futures Trader 71, this is a professional trader, he's excellent, and uh, you might want to check out uh, how he uses book map. Okay, all right. Well, let's jump in and um, let's take a look at NASDAQ today. Uh, I saw something very interesting here in uh, in the NASDAQ. So there we go. Pretty nefarious stuff here uh, going on. All right. But uh, I'll go over that in, a, in just a minute. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, we do this every day. Uh, but uh, uh, is for those that are new and uh, those that uh, uh, need to understand what book map is showing you here uh, because it looks like there's a lot of data here but we're going to go through it um, very uh, uh, objectively and, and piece by piece here uh, so that uh, it will probably answer a lot of your questions uh, what you're looking at okay here's a five minute candlestick chart all right and this is the nq uh, and um, a uh, five-minute candlestick chart, uh, you can see here, um, we have uh, some some uh, uh, some wicks, bodies. It's open, high, low, close of, of a period of that five-minute period, and that's it. So there's only four data points 
that you're getting here. Uh, and we're making fin financial decisions based on very, very limited data, okay? Uh, and, uh, and that's not, uh, not good. Uh, so uh, we can look at a lot more very insightful data uh, that will give us um, uh, understanding uh, of, uh, of the uh, anticipated moves uh, because, and we do that uh, every day in the, uh, uh, in the advanced webinars. So um, let's, uh, let's start to turn on some of the uh, layers of uh, information here and you'll see uh, how this candlestick here, the problem that it is uh, displaying for us here <laughs> is the lack of information, the lack of insight. All right, and um, uh, let's uh, first turn on the best bid and offer. Okay, and uh, this is already better uh, because you can see the candlesticks here, but you can see what actually took place within that candlestick, not just open, high, low, close. Okay, note little areas here and little areas up here. Note the double top, for example, the retest of it again here, and then the move down. Okay, all of that is lost in the candle. We just see it here in a wick, and that's it. So all of this microstructural information, and it is very telling, this information, uh, and um, uh, you, you don't get any insight to it. And that, that's, that's really a, a problem here with the candlestick chart. So let's turn on uh, the volume because uh, there is no volume here in this candlestick chart. And, and, and the issue uh, or lack of understanding of where um, the uh, traders are committing their, their, uh, their money uh, so uh, we don't know where the volume traded on that candle, how much, uh, and uh, what type. So um, let's uh, start to turn some of these volume dots on. And uh, now we're getting the insight. Okay, So a green dot, like here, for example, is aggressive market buy order. A uh, red dot is an aggressive market sell. And... Um, uh, let's. I'll zoom into uh, an area here and show you exactly uh, what we're what we're uh, looking at here. Okay. Let's just zoom into this area here. Okay. All right. So here you can see the uh, the green dots. This is an aggressive market buy. They cross the spread. It's aggressive because uh, they hit the market buy, paid up the spread, and took liquidity from the best offer. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, and the uh, the red dot is an aggressive market sell order, and uh, they crossed the spread and took liquidity uh, off of the best bid. Okay, so uh, we can uh, really zoom in to these areas as well and, and look at just um, a tremendous amount of detail uh, within uh, uh, book map here. Let's, so let's just zoom into uh, this little area and let's uh, let's watch it as note how um, the uh, that red dot uh, is broken up into five distinct events here. Okay, so uh, uh, we can we can see that uh, in the way that these are spaced out like this, uh, we're pretty sure that this is going to be algorithmic activity here. Right. So uh, now you're starting to understand just by the way this data is displayed and the way it comes into the book uh, and the way it's recorded here historically, you get insight. To what kind of player this is, uh, and uh, it's for uh, eight contracts, as I can see over here in my uh, my volume uh, <coughs> my volume column. Okay, so note how when I zoom back out, it it uh, consolidated just graphically uh, into now into a larger dot here. Okay, now it's off of the uh, historical uh, best bid here due to um, a VWAP. All right, that, that's all that's going on there. Um, so uh, uh, anyway, as I, as I continue to zoom out, note this little area down here. So aggressive selling, all this selling right here. Uh, but if I continue to zoom out, I'm gonna consolidate this data into a larger dot and note that there's some buying in there now too, okay? So uh, just as we compress the timeline down, uh, there's so many trades that took place that will give you the overall delta of the trading activity there by the aggressor uh, with the uh, pie display. And so that's all, all it's uh, really showing you. Okay, so you get that overview, uh, but you can also zoom in and look at exactly 
uh, what what happened here uh, as I did earlier and you can uh, in fact we can just continue to zoom in here and uh, uh, note uh, exactly what what took place here okay look at that algorithmic activity and uh, we're down at millisecond level here so this is uh, you know we're basically looking at millions of seconds and uh, this is very clearly algorithmic activity now there's a little bit of latency here at some of these levels as you can see uh, it's impossible for it to trade up here like this uh, it's just that or down here like this it's just the latency is not the trade data the latency is with the um, best bid and offer uh, quote data okay so um, uh, anyway uh, now as we zoom back out we can uh, see we get the overall uh, of what really occurred uh, as well all right, so now this five minute candlestick chart here, this little area right here, for example, we can see exactly where the trades took place. Okay. We can see the move up here with aggressive buying and we see the move down. And this is a flip in the order flow right here. All right, because uh, look how uh, we see the aggressor here uh, taking price up and look how we, we see them uh, then taking price down. And, and where's the buying? Uh, you see some over here, uh, but uh, look at the selling uh, in this area here. And we continue to the downside. All right, anyway, um, that is the volume. And that's how Bookmap solves that issue of understanding uh, where the volume took place. Now, uh, that's kind of like a footprint chart. Uh, however, the, uh, the, the difference here uh, is the, um, uh, the footprint chart uh, will not show you this microstructural area here. Okay, you're you're just gonna you're gonna lose that data because it will aggregate. It'll just continue to aggregate on the on a level, uh, you know, one price level or another price level, and that's it. So uh, you don't understand, um, and we can see the flip this flip right here uh, in the order flow, the retest right here, uh, and then. Um, uh, and then basically this is going to be trap volume up in this area here as we continue lower. All right. So let me get to a few questions here. I see, uh, Nadim, uh, your, your question. Uh, so, um, uh, the COB and the CVP. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll, let's, we'll get right into the, uh, uh, COB, uh, as I go, go through the presentation here. All right. Now, um, and then I'll get to the, the volume columns as well. All right. So the, um, uh, the COB column right here, this is the current order book, right? Now, since we have the volume here, that's good. Uh, there's another piece to trading uh, that uh, we don't see uh, here, and that is the intent to trade, okay? Most of us are familiar with the dome, the depth of market, and this is the dome in bookmap, the COB column here, All right? So um, uh, this is your, um, uh, your level two data. Here's your level one, your inside market, okay? Best bid and offer. Okay? It's reflected in this window as well with the, with the dash green and red line. Uh, and then the last traded volume is this number here, okay? And then here's our depth. Uh, we have 10 deep on the, uh, on the NASDAQ and then uh, on the offer and 10 on the, uh, on the bid, okay? So these are traders who are lined up here at these specific price levels uh, providing liquidity, right? So we're starting to read now the intent of, of these traders in the auction, right? Now the problem here, and that's that's good, it's, it's insightful uh, to understand the current state of the market. Uh, however, it's really difficult uh, to uh, start to um, read this and then put it all together within the chart, okay? And Bookmap solves that issue. Okay, uh, and the way we solve it is we give it uh, a graphical representation in the heat map. Okay, so, um, and let me adjust it here a little bit so we have something to look at. All right, okay. So for exa example, right here uh, at 57.99, look at the contracts there, 75. Okay, it is the brightest area in the book uh, right here uh, in this window, and it is the, the largest number uh, in the uh, current order book column, okay? So areas that have very high liquidity uh, are painted uh, brighter, brighter uh, in the heat map, okay? Note how there's some liquidity starting to pop into the book here on the offer, uh, and it's kind of a, you know, light, darker shade of, uh, of gray up here, 
Well, that's because it's uh, not as much liquidity. In fact, we can we can look right at the numbers here. Uh, we see there's uh, 43. Okay, big big move to the downside. It's really whippy out there. Um, but um, uh, anyway, uh, that's the uh, uh, what the COB column is showing you, and where uh, what Bookmap is doing is it's just giving a graphical representation with the heat map uh, of that. Um, of that data, all right, in this window here. This is the current window, current market window. Now, where it gets interesting is we take this data and we project it on the chart historically, okay? So uh, now we can see that these guys up here, uh, for example, very high liquidity, and it stayed in the book for a little bit, and then it pulled. And that's what uh, has been recorded here, okay? So now you're able to understand that there were sellers up here, uh, and now, now they're gone, right? And now we can start to gauge the intent of some of these traders. Did these guys really want to trade? And I would say absolutely not because uh, it looks like they're skewing the book with high uh, liquidity here uh, and price is uh, uh, moving to the downside, okay? They do it again here as well. We can see uh, the layers of, uh, of information here, okay? This is spoofing type of uh, activity in a sense. Okay, trying to maybe get it down into some of this very, very high liquidity we see down here uh, that uh, is on the uh, on the bid. Okay, now note that they're pulling that liquidity too. Okay, now they're coming back in. So in the dome, uh, that is very difficult to read. Okay, because uh, yeah, you will um, have to note a specific price level, how much liquidity was there. What about the areas around it? And were they were they adding above, or were they adding below? Okay, adding above is, is showing kind of bullish activity. Okay, adding below uh, is uh, uh, rather rather bearish. Uh, you know, so uh, now uh, we have all of that data, and we can uh, we can look directly at it, uh, and we have the uh, the recording. Okay, so here it is. Here's the bigger picture in that liquidity. All right, now this is pretty bright, so let's. Uh, Let's bring this down a bit. Okay. All right. So let's see other questions. Um, okay, uh, the uh, CVP column. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit. I want to. I'll show you this. Um, I want to format this one too. I want to see bars only. There we go. Um, the CVP column. This is a, a volume profile. Okay, and the SVP is a volume profile as well. Now, um, the SVP stands for session uh, range volume profile, and chart range volume profile is CVP. So when I opened up Bookmap, I started collecting data, and uh, that is going to be the uh, initial point uh, to start building out the SVP, the session range volume profile. The chart range volume profile is only showing you the volume within this viewable chart range, okay? So if I zoom in, note how it's reflected here now uh, in the column, okay? So you can study specific areas, uh, and um, for example, let's look at just this data here, okay? And uh, you can see some of the uh, the profiles and maybe start to anticipate maybe a, a move like right now up to the view app right here, okay? And we have also 5,800, the figure. Okay, so um, uh, all sorts of uh, different different ways of uh, utilizing this data. All right, uh, all right. So um, let's see here. There was something I wanted to show you. Uh, some really, I mean, this is some pretty fascinating stuff today, to be honest. Uh, and uh, to me, this looks uh, quite nefarious as well. Uh, I would like to know what the uh, uh, NFA and CFTC is doing uh, regarding some of this activity here. Um, so let me turn off the candlestick and let's just look at book map now. Now let me know if you have any questions and uh, we, we can go through this but um, uh, I want to leave you guys here uh, with um, uh, we've got about you know eight minutes or so uh, but I want to go over this activity here because uh, look at the high liquidity here okay uh, back at at 5,800, this is a key level here. Obviously, the whole number uh, is uh, uh, important. 
and we see that there's high liquidity here, okay? And the buyers uh, took them on, okay? They traded right through that area. Uh, you can see the aggressive buying that just, uh, they swept the book, okay? A sweeping of the book uh, is, uh, this is a great example of it, okay? Um, and um, uh, you can just see here, we have that latency again, but um, uh, they just uh, bought everything, okay? The, they bought this level, they bought the next level, and the next level up, okay? They just continued to take every single level, the liquidity there, okay? There's 308 contracts here. Well, 308 just traded, okay? And then, uh, and then we... Um, uh, continue to trade up here. Now this is, we, we have that latency, right? But um, uh, we can see um, 45 traded here, okay? There were 39, and uh, in the end, it turned out to be uh, uh, 45 that traded, all right? Now well, there's probably an iceberg as well uh, in there. Let's see, yeah, we have our iceberg detector. Um, and um, uh, 67 here, well, 63 traded. And maybe uh, maybe four of them were pulled or something. I, I I'm not really sure. Uh, 52 traded here and and 20 traded up here. Okay, so they just they just swept it. They just took all of that liquidity uh, and continued uh, to move price upwards. Okay, that is a sweep of the book. Okay, now uh, in in uh, the advanced class, what we go through is. Um, uh, uh, things like this. And in fact, I'll give you a link to the uh, uh, advance so you guys can get a sneak peek uh, for uh, for Friday. Usually do that on Friday. Uh, and uh, we're just going to go through, um, you know, a lot more advanced features here. But uh, this is this will be one of them. And I'm going to cover it again in the uh, in the advanced uh, class. OK, because uh, this is pretty, pretty good price ac action to, to take a look at. Swept the book up. OK, up into high liquidity here. Right. And, uh, and you can see, we see a flip of the book here too. They were on the offer, now they flipped to the bid, okay? And look at that high liquidity, okay? You would anticipate, okay, this is something that we go through and it's one of our setups that uh, uh, we outlined in the uh, educational course uh, to, we're at a new trading level and they're supporting it. They wanna be buyers yet again down here at 5,800, okay? You would anticipate uh, price to uh, to bounce back up and test into some of these higher uh, areas up here, and that's what happened. Okay, we come back down here, and then look at this. Okay, uh, we see them uh, trade through uh, uh, the uh, 5,800 level, and uh, then they flip to the other side here. Okay, now this is this is where I I, I really wonder um, about that uh, rule 575 and talk about. Um, um, disruptive uh, practices uh, that uh, uh, they're prohibited uh, this kind of activity to flip aggressively like this onto the uh, onto the offer drive price through this area uh, and uh, and run the stops okay uh, and uh, and then run it right back up again okay and uh, a, another type of uh, look at the layering of uh, high liquidity in here uh, spoofing type of activity uh, at 58.01 uh, to 02, uh, and then we see the price move cont and continue to the upside here, okay? All right, so, uh, and we just saw something uh, as well. Um, well, we saw the breakdown. Um, where was it? Was it right, right in here that we were looking at, or was it down here? No, I can't recall. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, lots of lots of good stuff going on here uh, in these charts. Uh, this is this is another uh, setup that uh, we look for this uh, initiated buying, just like this. Okay, and then for them to support uh, on a uh, on a pullback. Okay, and so far so good. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, those numbers showing are iceberg orders. Yes, uh, this is this this is the um, uh, like these 163 and 196 down here. Uh, basically, what it's showing you, um, Nadim, is the uh, it's liquidity uh, that traded that was not in the limit order book. So you know, it sounds like it's impossible. That that's an impossible. Uh, um, task or you know state of affairs uh, you can't trade something that doesn't exist 
Well, you, you can hide your liquidity with a hidden order. Okay. So if the aggressor, uh, you know, if they hit the bid or lift the offer, um, you know, with a market buy or sell, uh, they'll hit into hidden liquidity there. And that's what's going on. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, larger players like to use iceberg orders uh, because they, they don't want you to see their liquidity. They want to disguise it. All right. So we have that. Uh, this is one of the advanced um, uh, indicators that you can see. Okay, from the advanced uh, book map package. Okay, let's see. <laughs> okay, uh, how can I attend your second web? Okay, uh, yeah, uh, Nadim, I'll I'll, um, I'll give you guys the uh, the link uh, uh, just now. So uh, give me just a minute here. Okay, but uh, to to get it, um, you know, really. Uh, you know, it's it's part of the uh, the trial, um, and uh, uh, or for our current current customers. Okay, uh, we want to go through more advanced features, um, and uh, uh, not and we won't cover the basics. So so the the, the you know the 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 customer has already been through that, uh, and they they want more insight uh, in the live market, uh, how to use Bookmap and uh, and what Bookmap is showing. Okay. Uh, let's see. Ten, yeah. Uh, should I expect market to move down since most of liquidity is lower? Yeah, I mean, the, this liquidity ask, acts as, um, longer term liquidity acts as a target, okay? Uh, there's this distinction between the two, that shorter term high liquidity uh, and uh, longer term liquidity, okay, uh, is very high as well. Because the market knows it can trade down here, so it gets kind of a, it's it's attracted to uh, these areas. But uh, as we can see back in some of these other areas, okay, where all of a sudden high liquidity jumps in at some of these specific points uh, and it re repels price, okay, because it's a skew in the auction, right? You, you, you think of it very much like an auction, uh, and um, uh, you can. Uh, uh, understand what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about. So uh, if all of a sudden uh, someone jumps into uh, an auction, uh, like a, a busload of uh, uh, you know buyers uh, comes into the auction, okay, and that's what this looks like. They just they pop into the room here, and all of a sudden, they, and they want to buy. They're aggressive. They're close to price here, okay. Uh, you know, price is uh, you know uh, valued uh, higher. Uh, and that's what's going on. And then they pull, though. Then that bus load is gone, right? Uh, and uh, and price is able to uh, uh, test lower now. Okay. All right. Well, there's all sorts of things going on, uh, Nadim. We'll, we'll cover it maybe in the advanced. Um, but um, you know, we we look for maybe a, a, the order flow to change over uh, as well. Uh, look for distribution and a distribution kind of pattern here, uh, and looking for the order flow to flip. Um, and then, uh, and then maybe start to uh, anticipate some of these areas to uh, to get tested. Okay. Now it looks like it right in here that uh, you know we see kind of it it flipping yet again here. But then the buyers step right back in. I mean we're we're it's really jumpy uh, today. It's it's all over the place, uh, and um, it's just really banging around this uh, 5800 level. All right. Okay, well, let's uh, stop the webinar here. I'll give you the link in the uh, for the uh, advanced. Hold on just a minute. Okay, now this is only for today. Uh, there will be a new webinar series uh, next week. Okay, there you go. So click on that link and then register, and uh, I'll see you right over there. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks.